you turn the fan forced oven on to the close to maximum. You basically have one oven tray that you use, which um, is best to use with baking paper instead of oil, because uh, kind of old school way was using oil, pouring oil in the pan, and um, then yeah, it's hard to clean later on. But with baking paper, it makes it a little bit more healthier and a little bit more cleaner. This is a meal for one person, uh, which is one chicken breast. Um, if you're wanting to do it for another person as well, you just double it. So we're using extra virgin olive oil for the coating of the chicken. Now, yeah, you just, you only put like a little bit on and you're just sort of kind of massaging it in. And then you can use whatever herbs you want. Um, I was using Italian mixed herbs to make it, you know, just flavorful. Now I try not to use too much salt or pepper. Uh, and then yeah, you just put that straight in the oven. That's just a quick and easy process. Baby potatoes. <laughs> Baby potatoes are easy to actually use. You know? um, so you only use four of those and they're easy to peel and cut. And they are actually got a nice flavor to them, but you can use whatever you want. You don't necessarily have to use baby potatoes. I just use them because they're just easier. And yeah, you just, can just cut them into halves. Uh, halves, quarters, however you want. Uh, it just, it's just easier to, if you're cutting them, and you could have them whole, but the cooking, the, yeah, the cooking process is a lot longer. And when filling up the pot with the water, I prefer to put the vegetables in first and then fill it up with water so you're not using a whole lot of water that's going to boil over later. Um, but you can work out about you know, uh, how much water you're going to use for the whole lot. Um, because I, I added broccoli in afterwards as I was putting on the stove, but I knew that there was going to be enough water in there to do the broccoli but not to overflow. Now, after a certain time, you take out the chicken and you turn it, and then you cut it into slices. And this also helps with the cooking process to be quicker because you've got the fan forced oven, which is an electric oven. It's going to be quicker in cooking. Uh, so we're going to use uh, sweet chili sauce and soy sauce. What we do with that is the sweet chili is basically the sugar and the pepper in a way. It's just replacing the sugar and pepper. And the soy sauce gives it that soy flavor, but it's also replacing the salt. Uh, yeah, so I kind of, I use those ingredients a lot because it's just replacing other things. And um, yeah, it's already done. It's easy, simple. And then, yeah, then you just serve it. You know, you serve it on the plate. It's, it's already sliced, it's already done for you. You're just placing it on the plate. And then you can add other stuff later, but even if you're mixing, so as you can see here, we've got the chicken on the plate, you know, with its sauce and stuff. So you don't really need anything else. You don't need salt on the vegetables. You don't need pepper on the vegetables because the sauce that's in the, the, the flavor of the chicken you can sort of mix that, combine that together with the potato and it kind of balances things out too. Yeah, I hope you enjoy and uh, yeah, please like and subscribe. <laughs>